pay my bill. Your account is already paid in full. Huh. Well, in that case, back to vacation mode. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and Voice enabled bill pay. Just a tap away on the Geico app. Okay, can anybody hear me? Hey, Anna from Oregon. Thanks for joining. Can everybody hear me? Yay. Hey, Trina. Rain. Yay. Oh, two from Oregon. Cool. Thanks, Brenda. I usually do that, but for some reason, my password's hosed up, and I couldn't do it um, from my uh, broadcaster window. Very strange. Well, a lot of West Coasters. That's cool. Is everybody getting little ads on the bottom of their screen? Not like video ads playing, but little little pop-up boxes that keep getting in my way. What the hell's up with that? Okay. Oh, Jen, like like I put my jelly plate on, you mean? Hey, Genevieve. Glad you could make it. Oh, Anna. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Pizza and Mickey Mouse. Hey, Sonia. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rain. So, um... Yeah, so I got this itch to try to um, create some rubber stamps, and I really liked the the elements of designs that I put on my stencils. So I thought to myself, hey self, why don't you make some stamps that kind of look like your stencils, and that would be kind of cool for layering, um, since that's what mixed media is kind of like all about. So, um, that's where they kind of got their name, Elements, PTP Elements, because they're the elements of the designs of the stencils. So I pulled out a few of my stencils that are in these first sets of stamps. And actually, on some of these sets of stamps, some of these stamps, you're going to see that are future stencils coming out that aren't quite out yet. Um, so, um, Miko, hey. So anyway, that's what I did. So I found um, a small company um, that does, uh, produces rubber stamps. So I had to do my designs and then you send them in and they make a, a metal plate. Um, and then the, the polymer rubber or whatever stuff, you guys probably know more about it than I do, is poured into the plate and then peeled off and then you have a sheet of stamps. So that's where I am. I just got my first set in, and, and with that price comes a set wood mounted for myself. But the ones that I'm going to sell in my Etsy shop are, um, I was just playing around. Uh, uh. Um. Hey, Pam. Hey, Jamie, how are you? So I was just playing around on some tissue the other day, but this tissue, I found that when I first stamped the images, they were very crisp, but now I came back down and looked at them today, and after I left them, the, the ink ran. So um, I'm not sure which tissue this was, but i got to watch which tissue I stamp on again, because I have other tissue that holds the image really crisp with the same archival ink, so I'm not, I'm not sure which. I think this is some kind of special art tissue or something. 
Doesn't seem like it would do that if it was an art tissue, though, does it? Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? So, yeah, you'll get a sneak peek of the future stuff coming up. So, um, here's uh, one set set that is, is going to be sold in a sheet. Um, let's see if you guys can see this. Let me look at my, hang on, let me change something here so I can see my own, see my own self so I can see what you're seeing. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So here is, you can see this is the Infinity Stencil. This is a future one that actually the whole stencil is that, is the whole plate is this design, and it looks really cool when it's large. Uh, this is a future one as well. It's like an Infinity Arrow. This orb is an element of this uh, these are called, I think, orb stacks is what I named these. And this is just the orb, one of the elements of one of those little lines. And this one here, I really love this. This I'm going to call um, kebabs. And this little one is going to be dumbbells. This is a future one, too. But this kind of came off of my dangle stencil, the idea for that. And then everybody, that's my most popular selling stencil, actually, is the dangles. So I have a dangle stamp coming up in the next batch, um, but uh, the kebab kind of came um, from that same design, you know what I mean? And here's my mark that I do, my little dot and circle and little tab. I don't know if I thought everybody would like those, but I wanted one myself, so I threw it on there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then this is from the Orbit stencil. Right, little orbit thing there, and then the antenna stencil. And this one is from the bullseye, but I just took the crosshairs out of it, so it just looked like concentric circles. And these are targets that are coming up in different sizes. So this is uh, not the final packaging, but this was the initial packaging that I got sent. But I think it's, I think it's great. It's fine. Um, and they're deep, uh, deep etched red rubber. And the, each plate is five by eight inches. And here's what they look like. If I can get it out of there. They're, they're really deep etched. And um, there's plenty of room to cut around each one. So, pretty cool. I'm excited about it. So, um... And everybody, the feedback I've gotten so far on the designs, and, and you know what, I think the designs are really different than most stuff that you see because, let's see, should this go in between there? Maybe this needs, oh no, it went like this. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> uh, I hope not. I'm still online, I hope. I see myself. <laughs> Oh, hell with a wrapper. I could be here all night trying to get this thing back in there. Um, I'm more into an unwrapper than a wrapper. But anyway, there's the first set. Not that it's numbered the first set or anything. And here's the second grouping. Um, you guys have seen this design on a stencil. That's the Infinity um, Circle and Pac-Man. And this was the Outback design. This is a future one coming up called Edgy. And you've seen the, what was that, Diamond Dot, I think? And Which Way, and Turn Around, another concentric circle that was actually, this one shrunk really small. So I, I made, some of them are from the same stencil design. Hey, Eileen! It was from the same stencil design. I just sized it a little bit differently because circles... I love circles, but I think a lot of people love circles. And I've actually gotten a lot of feedback from people seeing the concentric circle stamps. Um, and I've seen them out before, and I have one that's one of my favorite stamps. I know you guys have seen me use it. Um, but it's not like, you know, who invented the circle? God, right? I mean, it's not like I'm trying to copy a design. It's a circle. <laughs> um, but this is a new one. This is called Ladders. That's going to be in a new stencil design. And this is the Corner Dot stencil, another bull, uh, target that's going to come from a future one. 
This is from the Grid Dot stencil. I love that stamp. It looks so cool when you put it in four corners of a piece of paper or whatever. The dumbbell, I had a little extra space and I didn't want to lose it, so I put the little dumbbell down here. Because actually I think that's really a usable stencil. And I was playing with it last night and went crisscross and it looked like a jack. Ah. And this, it was called Illusions, I think. It was a much bigger design, of course, but the same design. And this is a new one that's called Undulate. So there you go. And again, that's, you know, that's how they're packaged. So, um, and I'll be selling the red rubber sheets on my Etsy shop. I was hoping they'd be in by today, but I ordered them kind of last minute. I, I didn't order any, um, I only ordered one, that one set of them when I placed this order because it was, you know, hard on the budget anyway. Um, but I have, uh, ordered uh, more of each set coming in. I'll put them up on Etsy and as I sell them out I'll be glad to order more so that everybody gets them that wants them. Um, but yeah, so here's the wood. You can also actually, there are numbers. Um, the company has numbered each one of the designs. It's not on here but it's on the paper. So if you keep this paper and you have a friend come over and say I cannot live without that Outback design stamp. You can order, ask me to order for you one PTP515H wood mounted and I can get you one of these like this. So, um, I mean you can order them all wood mounted if you want to, but I'm saying uh, they are options like that. I can do it. I'm not going to start out with any on my site. Hey Dixie. Hey Jean. I'm not going to put any on the site right now because these obviously are more expensive and I'm not sure which of the designs would be more popular. So I don't want to put them all out there and then, you know, not sell any of these and only sell a few of these and, you know. So, yeah, my drift. But you can always ask me for onesies if that's what you want on wood mounted. So I thought maybe what we would do is kind of look at the layering thing. So, um... I'm going to take out the new ones because I don't have stencils to match yet. How about that? Let's see. This one, this one, this one, this one. And I think those are all current stencils. All right. I'm going to need another stencil, another stamp drawer. I can see it coming, but that's okay. I'm going to shove these back out of the way. And I thought what I would do is like make some jelly prints and then kind of layer up um, Hey Marianne Hey Vaughn um, Got some debris on my jelly plate. Oh no But I thought I'd make some um, a few prints on my plate and um, come back with the same design and maybe use that as a pop of black over top of the jelly print and see what that looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. But, I mean, you guys know you're already into the mixed media. You know what all stamps can be used for. So I'm not here to tell you, oh, you could do this by making a card. You could do this by making this or that or adding them to a journal page or maybe putting this one end to end, end to end, end to end and making a border. You guys know all that stuff. I'm just going to show you how they work with the stencils and kind of layer them up that way. If you see anything or if you, you have something in mind that you would like to see and I'm not doing, I'm open to the requests. Also, I've opened the links, so if you guys have, um, if you guys have um, uh, any links you want to share to your blog, to a product, whatever, um, you know, then we can, uh, we can do that. So, who asked me? Rain. Yeah, Rain, the, each sheet is going to be $25 retail for the sheets. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stamps is on that one. So it'll be $25 retail per sheet. I don't have them yet. 
if you guys really, 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 really want them and want to be first to get them, um, I guess we can do, say, call it a pre-order and you guys um, PM me on Facebook or something. Yeah, hang on. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go get my link and I'll be right back. Hold that thought. This is like multi-multitasking. Can you hear Babe snoring underneath my desk? Sweet Lord. Dave, <laughs> Dave's off at a golf trip, so she's like glued to my side. Hang on, almost there. Oops. Well, can't type. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> okay. How rude. And there we go. I was going to say, what the hell? My own shop didn't come up? Sweet Jesus. Okay, now I got it. Hang on. Coming back. As soon as I can copy. Jean's probably already put the link up there 14 times. <laughs> there we go. There you go. There's the link to my Etsy shop. Um, I am getting in 10 of each design. So 20 total sheets are coming in. And I should get them maybe Monday, I hope. Um, so if, if you really do want to pre-order instead of just waiting to get them, you can PM me on Facebook, or let me give you guys an email address to get me. And I'll just give them to whatever first 10 people want them. Um, so let's do this so we don't get totally screwed up here. <laughs> let's call this one with my mark on it, set number one, or call it, yeah, call it set number one that's got my Patty's Mark stencil on there, or stamp on there. And this one is number two. Okay, so if you want this one, let's call it number one. And I'm saying number one because that's kind of what I did first. I did that mark for two years ago. So let's call that set number one and let's call this set number two. So you can PM me which ones or email me which ones you want. And then the first, the first 10 people for each one, I'll hold those first ones for. And I don't know how much shipping is going to be. Um, overseas is uh, an international, basically, it's going to be more, of course. And I, so far in my Etsy shop, I've lost money every time I've shipped, some, shipped something internationally. Crap! Can't quite figure that out yet, but um, they are going to be more to ship internationally. I try to charge whatever the shipping actually is. I don't try to charge... What is happening on my phone? I don't try to charge um, and make a profit on the shipping. Um, I'm not all about the money thing. I'm all about just having fun, letting everybody do it that can do it. Um, so I'm not trying to make money on, um, uh, on, on the shipping. <laughs> not making much money on everything, honestly, but, you know, that's not what it's about for me. But hang on, I think I'm getting um, <laughs> tweet and Facebook orders on my phone. <laughs> but I will, I promise I'll order more and they come in uh, in less than a week turnaround when I do place the orders for more of them. I just didn't know, I don't have a lot of extra money to have, you know, order tons of them and then have them sit there. I needed, I need to see how they're going to sell. Um, I can't sit on a lot of inventory and have that money tied up. Um, and not buy Baby Mojo any treats doesn't seem right. So anyway, let's start slinging some paint and doing something. Do something even if it's wrong, as my husband would say. Sweet Jesus, there's more. I have no idea what's happening on my phone. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Melissa, I got your Etsy request. <laughs> Good Lord. 
thank you guys so much. That's so cool it's to see that people really like something that came out of my pea brain and and uh, enough that you, you want to purchase them for yourselves. That's really cool. I appreciate that. So, what are we doing here? Let me grab something. I don't know what I'm looking for. I can do any of them because I got all the damn stamps there, right? All right, let's do this which way arrow thing. Because that's kind of funky. So I'll work some jelly plate in with the uh, in with the stamp stuff. A little bit of that. I don't know. A little bit of purple, maybe. I'm going to try to use less paint because I just want to demo um, the designs more than make a bunch of... Uh, Prince. Ooh, lost my train of thought there for a minute. All right, here we go. Oh, Gene, you should put on, do a cleanup print on your jelly plate if it's real dirty. Oh, you know, last week was kind of a banner week. I got some other really big news other than my, um, Stamp. Can you hear her snoring? I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Listen. Right. <laughs> like a friggin' truck driver underneath my desk. It's my little princess. <laughs> oh, so anyway. Squirrel. Christ, I got the attention span of a gnat. Um, but I just found out, I got an email the other day out of the blue um, a submission I had put in months and months ago to Cloth Paper Scissors is going to be published I'm like, ah, get out and that was one of my my secret little uh, New Year's resolutions was to try to be published this year oh, hello how cute are you um, so I'm going to be. It's going to be in the November, December issue of Cloth, Cloth, Paper, Scissors. And it's my um, jelly journals, my jumpstart journals. So I thought that was pretty cool. Thank you. I was, I was having a great week because, well, I was in Chicago. And then I had, um, I saw my stencils uh, all turning up. And... Um, oh, I got news from Sherry at Eye Stencils that there's a company in the UK that's a distributor that's going to start carrying some of my stencils. So that was huge. And then my stamps came, uh, I didn't have them in hand, but I, um, uh, the, the girl I'm working with to order them sent me, um, pictures because I couldn't hardly stand it. So, um, then I, um. Uh, got the news about cloth, paper, scissors, and I thought, hey, I'm going to buy a lottery ticket. And then I forgot to. <laughs> ah, crap. What are you going to do? You know, some days you eat the bear, some days the bear eats you. Because, uh, hang on. Yes, Sam was very excited to hear that, Patty. They are the UK stencils and had a couple ordered already through them. Hear that, Patty. Right. UK stencils has a couple ordered already through them. Uh, Gina, I'm not following you. Are you asking me if the UK place has ordered some already? Or give me that one more time. I know you've ordered through hey Connie hey Erica I know you've ordered through um eye stencils and they ship all over the world but I th think this is a distributor that is going to um sell to the retail stores 
I'm saying Sam has found the store and has ordered from them. Who's Sam? <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm missing. Do I know Sam? Am I like dancing out on you? That's highly possible. Oh no, are we almost out of this green? Oh, whatever online group. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I wonder, they have mine over there already? Yeah. Oh, look out, watch them reading the screen and squirting paint all over, all over the place. Having a little paint party. And not in a good way. Oh, good Lord, on my shirt. Okay, let's try. I need something else in there. Let's throw a little bit of this in there. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, maybe she can. I'm recording this, so she can catch it on YouTube with nothing else. Damn squeaky ass brayer. Ah. I'm a netly. Okay, this one's Orbit. I love this little design. I'm not sure what's happening on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Erica, so we, where can we get the... So, Erica, on my um, Inky Obsessions shop on um, Etsy, there's none there yet. They should be there Monday. But everybody was asking about... Um, uh, pre-ordering. So I've, my first order coming in, I have 10 sets of this one and 10 sets of this one are coming in. I think they should be here Monday, Tuesday latest. So, um, they're $25 retail a piece. I didn't count this one. This one I think had 15 designs on it. Was that right? I don't remember. Anyway, they're five by eight sheets. Thanks, Jamie. And, um, uh, you know, so if you want one of these, the first 10 people will get the first 10 that have come in. And then um, I'll order more and put them up on the shop if these first 10 don't make it to the shop. Um, Y'all are very enthusiastic. That's why I love you. Oh, hello, Orbits with a little PBO in there. Like, how cute are you? There's that shimmer. Where'd it go? I'm trying to catch it in the light. Ah, there it is. Love you. Yeah, I know. If anybody, uh, if you do want the stamps, please don't just let me know as a record on the chat because I miss some of the messages going by when it starts moving fast. And I don't know what, you know, who the first 10 people were. Um, so if you can either use that email address or message me through Etsy or Facebook or my, my art Facebook page. Yeah, Gene, you can come and pick yours up. You know, I, the, the, um, we were, I was watching, getting some emails in. Well, I get them in almost every day from YouTube. Um, on comments on my videos and stuff or questions. So, um, I, <laughs> I found out that um, one of the ladies emailed me, Jean, emailed me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Good Lord. Um, so, um, she emailed me and she said, oh, I hear you're from Severin. You know, I heard your video, you're from Severin. I'm from Severin, too. So, I emailed her back and I kind of asked her what area and she told me. And I said, yeah, that's kind of the same area I'm in. Come to find out she's one street over from me. Yep. Rubber Moon Jean. Um, so, yeah. So, Jean is literally um, right around the corner. I know. I know, <laughs> I know, Eileen. But that's for a good reason. Let's see what else we got in here. 
Let's do... Where's my little grid dot? I like this one. Well, you know what, though? That's not going to show much. I need to lay her down first. Where's Illusions? Here you are. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, a mess. That's what we have. There. I know. You know, I thought with Queen's Inc., and she does go to Queen's Inc., too. So with all the... Um, all the people around that go to Queen's Inc. And I don't know how many people follow me that go to Queen's Inc. I know some of them do. Um, but I figured somebody had to be close that, that follows my videos and stuff. But there you go. Right on. <laughs> Now, if you guys are ordering and I s happen to sell 10 of both or whichever one, um, I'll make sure you get first dabs, first dibs at the next bunch that goes in. <coughs> I love how these, what genius, design stencils to fit exactly on the jelly plate. Does anybody know? She must be a genius. Oh, look, a jelly print in the middle of my cardstock. Yeah, I might be able to use that one for my my little demo. That's what I should have done. Sonia, you go to the Queen's Inc. too. Where do you live anywhere around? Where do you live? Um, I don't want you to give me your address on here, but you never know what kind of psychos are lurking. <laughs> Dorothy, Queen's Inc. is a local mixed media. Really cool stamp scrapbook mixed media shop that they have they do a lot of, of really cool classes and stuff there they get um ah, that would be me <laughs> um oh geez i have no idea jean i never thought i'd need one <laughs> Oh, look, it's pulling a little bit of that, that PBO shimmer up there. Where is it? Hello. Where are you? I know I saw it. I'm looking at my camera live. Ah, screw it. <laughs> hey, Connie, I guess... Um, wait a minute, where is she? Oh, you're in Glen Burnie. You're not far. We're, I'm kind of right behind, sort of, if you will, the Safeway across from Arundel Mills Mall. Back in that away. Maybe we'll have to have a play date one of these days with the locals. Yeah, I like this one too. Depending on how the print comes out, it looks kind of 3D. Um, oh, I don't know. I've never been asked to teach there, Terry. Um, I know why. Chat won't show up again. Pop up. Can't get live alongside the video. I was used to. Huh. Um, Jean can probably answer that for you, Pat. Um, Jean, you see Pat Walker's uh, question about why she can't see the chat? Jean is the guru. But, um, no, I've not been asked to teach anything there. Yeah, I know, Connie. With this May was with me in Chicago last week, and now Ellen's should be in the air to Las Vegas this week. Um, hey, Queen Teen. Um, but, yeah, I hope we can get back. Now, June's going to be a hard month for me to do it, um, Connie, because... Chelsea's wedding's on the 21st. So, um, that's going to be a little tricky. <coughs> I 
So I said I was only going to do a couple, didn't I? Uh, only got a few paints out here too. I don't have much of a much of a choice. Pardon my reach. I gotta watch what I'm doing. I'm trying to read the chat, and I'm God knows what I'm doing with the paint. <laughs> Get on there. Of course, I haven't done this, what I'm going to do with you guys here. I haven't done this yet myself, so <laughs> hopefully this turns out kind of like what I had in mind. <laughs> Let's see. I have that one. Let's do this one. Oh, yeah, my Outback one I want to do, too. Oh, ah, paper would be good. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, Raina, you guys can watch me and then know what not to do. I should have a, a what not to do series. You know, I think what's different, and a lot of people have commented about this, about my stamps being really different, um, and and stencils, and I think it's just because they're very, um, um, geometric and symmetrical and asymmetrical and all that kind of stuff, but they're not like cutesy flowers or little baby girl dolls or all that kind of stuff, which is okay if that's what you like it. Yeah, Queen, I'm in Severn, Maryland. Oops. All right. Of course, I didn't do the back of that one. I don't know why. Telling you, I'm really distracted today. <laughs> All right, let me get that over there. And for good measure, let's do one more. What do I have over here? Let's do my Outback. It's one of my favorites. I don't know why I named that Outback and why I did that, but I kind of like it. Got to tell you. I'm just printing on 110 pound cardstock. Just the plain old Rima stuff that I get at um, Staples by the Ream. Just the cheapy stuff. But I like that weight for when I do my cards and envelopes and the jelly journals and stuff. I might mean, also do it on tissue and stuff like that for um, uh, collaging. Deli paper. Gene, have you been using your deli paper? Don't tell me you're out of it already. Sam, 
I know it's late there. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Donna. Uh, this card stock is 110, if that's what you're asking me, Co. Ew. I look at that little bit of PBO in there. Hello, lover. Well, I can't, I can't get my own camera, my own uh, screen catching it right. There we go. Of that. Oh, look, my last piece. That means it's time to stop jelly printing. I have to start doing a lot of jelly prints because I want to, the article that I do for um, cloth, paper, scissors, of course I want to use jelly prints that have my stencil designs on them. <laughs> and I got to send in three books, so. Yes, you need one. Oh my gosh, you must get one tonight somehow. <laughs> You'll never make it through another night without a jelly plate, Queenie. I thought the same thing, honestly, when I first helped my friend Terry that works at Queen's Inc. She was going to do a jelly plate class. I was like, jelly, what's a jelly plate? So she showed me and I thought, yeah, I'm not taking that one. I don't know. What would I do with that? And then I offered to help her teach. And she um, said, well, why don't you come over to my house and I'll run you through the steps of my class for the timing and everything. And you give me feedback. And the meanwhile, you'll learn how to do it. So that's what I did, and every time I pulled the print off, I was like, oh my god, that's cool. Oh my god, oh my god, I really like this. So, yeah, that's, you know, the rest of the story, as Andy Rooney would say. That's just the cleanup print off the, off the plate. But look at all that, all that shimmery shine in there. <laughs> I loved you. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. And now... Should let that dry a little bit more. Maybe I'll start on the bottom. I know. Isn't that shimmer good? Jean, have you been liking your uh, your deli paper? Has that been working for you? Yeah. <laughs> I knew I'd be the high priestess of something one day. I just never knew what it was. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Here's the cleanups. And here's the original ones. So, you know, I probably should have done a couple layers on these. But, eh, you'll get it, right? You know, we could do layers if we wanted to. Oh, watercolors. Lord, get my lid off. So, um, for a little pop of black, instead of doing what I normally do, I thought I could maybe use my little stampies. Oh, now, R-J-O-I, who is that? Is that Joyce? Ah, uh, hate that when they won't cover a warranty. It's for real. <laughs> Someone pinch me. Someone should pinch you. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it. Is it Shell? Shelly? Okay. Well, I'm standing here. I got about four pounds of ink on this while I'm talking. So let's just pop a few of these babies on here and see what layering it up with the same kind of little design looks like. No, I don't sell my stencils um, on my Etsy shop. They're sold through iStencils. So if you go to iStencils.com um, and then uh, look under 
uh, I think it's under new, or at the very bottom you'll see a link to my my um, section of, of the stencils. And they're called Patty Tally, pa Patty Tally Parish stencils. I think the link just says Patty Parish on there, though, I think. I think my name was too long for their link. These kind of look like butterflies when I just glance at it. I probably should have done two layers, like maybe layer this, the big blue arrows with this, and then brought the other design through, but that's not bad. I think that's kind of No, I've Inky Obsessions is me, but I've I just I've never d done stamps before other than these. Nor have I ever been at a show. There you go. There's the er the What is that? Which way, I think? Get some of this ink off of here. I wonder what I wanted to do, too. I'm going to bring the jelly plate out again. So, where's my little orbit? There you are. Dang on, I got paint dust all over my brand new stamps. Woo! I was, I'm painting and, and distressing mason jars. Thanks, Jamie, uh, for the link. Um, uh, mason jars for my niece's wedding. I need to paint 40 jars. <laughs> and I was distressing uh, 10 of the large ones that I painted in a linen color. Um, I wonder how this would look if I tried to line it up with the design. Oh! Kind of interesting. Huh. That looks kind of interesting, kind of doubled up like that. Cool. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Just for demonstration purposes. Thanks, Jamie. Oh, yeah, Robin. Hi. Yes, of course I remember that. Hope you're doing well. You know what? Let me try something here and see what happens. Let me, let me try something. I don't know if this is going to turn brown or not. Oh, they would make a little ladybug, wouldn't they? That's a good idea, Pat. All right, let's see what happens here. Probably going to turn to brown. I don't know how translucent or how... All right, let me do get some teal out there, too. I just happen to have... Well, this is kind of light. I don't know if this will work or not. We'll try it. Do you um, have to do any kind of treatment uh, to follow up, Robin? Uh, Miko, no. I, they're all sold through. I just sell my stamps and my artwork on my Etsy shop. The, the stencils are sold at iStencils.com. Somebody put a link up just a second ago. Um, and just look for Patty Parrish stencils on their, me on their uh, menu. 
There it is. There's the link. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, they're sold all, that's all done through eye stencils. Not sure about that. Oh, that's why that's coming up. Oh, hang on. Let me see something here. That's kind of cool how the, um, looks like a peace sign coming up where this is right here, this intersection. Kind of looks like a peace sign. It's coming up colored all teal in those. Or orange or black as the case may be. But I like that little stamp. I like it. Just radiation, no chemo. Good. Well, you will be fine, honey. You just get get through the hump of that. I, I'm not, I had, did not have to do radiation myself. My husband had to do both, but that was before I met him. But um, I, um, I did 16 rounds of chemo. And uh, that was not exactly a picnic either. But you know what? You do what you got to do to get to the other side and I'm, I'm fine. And like Dave said to me when we met, he said, I'm fine and you'll be fine too. I'm telling you, I'm fine and you'll be fine too. So you hang in there, do what you got to do, get her done and get to the other side and go have some fun. Are you in, uh, am I thinking right, Robin, that you're in Southern Maryland? trying to do Jamie <laughs> I didn't have a stroke I'm watching the chat where's my little infinity hello little infinity stamp where are you there you are this one comes out really of course all the uh, dust from on the freaking thing from my those damn jars Oh, California. I've talked to several people lately about uh, their diagnosis, and one of them, sister, I think it was. Maybe that's who was in, uh, in Southern Maryland. I'm going to say maybe if you were, if that was you in Southern Maryland, once you got your treatment all done, we'd get together and have a play date to celebrate. How cute is that in the middle of the infinity one? <laughs> this one comes out really crisp. Even those little tiny ones in the center. Of course, i got to take my glasses off to see them. They come out really crisp image. When you, uh, I was wondering how that would work, but they really do. Do a little couple of teal ones in here with the color. Oh, how cute are you, little infinity stamp? It almost kind of looks like a chrysanthemum or some sort of a flower. Well, I'll be there in spirit, Robin. But let me keep me posted and let me know how you're making out. I will keep you in my prayers. I say really good ones, by the way. Just saying. I love this little one. I could just pop this one all over the place all day. All right, enough of you. Um, out back. The seam is out back. What you got going here? Where are you? There it is. Damn paint dust, I'm telling you. Yeah, I just get the their brand of, um, hey, Lou Jean, welcome aboard. Um, uh, 
uh, from, um, good lord, squirrel. I can't, I'm telling you what, my multitasking abilities is fading with my knees. <laughs> um, I just get the cheap Staples brand. By the ream, I think it's 250 sheets for um, 12 bucks or something here. Oh, you bet, Robin. You bet. I, I've been there, and you'll be fine. Every time I used to go to a chemo treatment, my mom would pick me up. She was <laughs> in her late 70s then, I guess, and um, she's 86. In July, she'll be 86. And um, oh, she used to pick me up for my chemo treatments every day or every week rather and I had 16 of them in 20 weeks and she picked me up and we got in the car I got in the car the first day and I said okay only 15 more to go I get in the car the next day next week only 14 more only 13 more <laughs> till we were at the last one this is how they come Lugene um, they're unmounted in sheets um, they're going to be on my Etsy, my Etsy shop there's some pre-orders that are being sent in that I'm probably totally out of control with. I have 10 of each of these coming in like Monday. And by the sounds of my phone, they may all be pre-order gone, but I'll place another order as soon as I know they're gone and get more of them in here. They're $25 per sheet. Like this one's 25, this one's 25. And they'll be on my Etsy shop that's Inky Obsessions. Or if you want to pre-order, you can uh, PM me or, um, other than telling me in the chat because I can't keep track of that. Yeah, so that's, these are 25 each. So these both would be 50. So um, if you want the wood, wood mounted ones, I can order those um, individually for you. And the number of each design is on the front, is on the page, the insert. So if you want to order uh, this one, you just give me this PTP 103G and I could look up the price and order that one specifically for you if you, if you really want them wood mounted. Um, but I think it's the better deal just to get the sheet and then you get like 15 designs or whatever it is. Oh, thanks, Jamie. That's my, with the link that Jamie just put up there at 556 guys, that's my art Facebook page. And that's usually where I put everything first. Um, whatever, I'm even over my personal Facebook page. Let's see if I can do that in the middle of this one. Nope, I was off center. I've, been, I've heard that before, though, actually. <laughs> Nobody ever told me I was a straight arrow. But see, just layering these like this over top of the other design and wherever you plop them is kind of cool to get that same, you know, the same design just kind of scattered about the page a little bit. I always like to run off the page, too. That's kind of cool. Oh, see you, Connie. Take care, honey. We'll see you soon. Connie's in one of our, my local art group that we get together. Try to do once a month. Um, lately, it's been a little tricky. A lot of stuff going on. And here's this illusion one. Let me see if I have, let me see something here. What else do I have? Oops, it's okay, babe. Oh, Lord, babe, heard the text go off on my phone, and now she's ready to run to the high ground, but she's already stuffed herself underneath my desk. She's afraid, God bless her, of every little thing. Question, so you'll go by the times. Wait a minute, hang on. So you'll go by the times from each place to get your first. No, Rain, I can't. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to go by where you guys... The order that you either texted me in or messaged me in or whatever because they'll come in an order and on the i don't want to i can't tie your time in with the times i'm getting on my phone via etsy or facebook 
I think that's going to be too. And I am going to have more um, very soon. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, don't, if you want some of them, don't tell me on, on this chat. Um, that's too hard. I have to go back and try to read every single thing and make sure I get the right right time and, and all that kind of stuff. So, if we can... Of course, if my hand wasn't crooked. And yeah, that looks kind of cool, just filling in those little holes there with a mini of that. Kind of cool, kind of completes the pattern. Me either, Rain. No worries. Okay, Jean. Thank you. I'm just throwing these in here where I think they might look kind of cool to repeat the pattern. ink is kind of weird. It's kind of, well, of course the ink pad's old too, but I never use it, but it's never been re-inked. It's juicy enough. It's just kind of coming out a little weird. That's kind of cool how that kind of finishes the design. But I like it how it's the same design, just littler. And then this one, I just happen to have this one already was in my pile of cardstock for some reason. So let me get, uh, yeah, we could do this one. And, hey, hang on a second. Let me see. We can do this one and this one. And let me see what kind of inks I have. Thanks, Regina. Hang on, let me see. Here's a red. And I got black. Okay. So let's do... I don't know if there's enough room on this one to, to show any of these. Good Lord, I can't believe where all that paint dust got to. Had them like 24 hours. I already got them gunged up. Whew. Crap. Oops, come here, baby. Oh, no, I wanted that one black. Hey. Dumbass. Let's just use this one while we're out here. So I'm just going to go opposite colors on this one. Okay, Donna. So this I did in red, right? Yeah. Eh, it's probably not going to work the way I wanted it to. It's going to be red on red out here. This one's a little too busy to pick up the stamps very clearly. like a penis. Woo! Crap. Oh, maybe it's just me. <laughs> wonder what this would look like. Let's go this way. <laughs> hey, Joycelyn. <laughs> yeah, a pee pee. That kind of looks cool where I hit the intersections of that with this one. I kind of like that. 
course, it's the stand. This this print is so busy that you can't really appreciate the the repeat of the target stamp that much. A little busy, but you got to play to figure that out. So, another thing I wanted to try to do with these. <laughs> so there's what we did so, so far with those so I wanted to also I'm going back to my jelly plate now and just to see how some of these clear some of these off of here was that a question? no <laughs> Pat Walker well when they're right there in your face you gotta kind of acknowledge it um <laughs> oh god hang on let me get a couple other things here Grab a few other colors. <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab a few stencil, I mean stamps, that I think... Try these, get these out of my way. <coughs> I'm gonna try um, dunking these right into the paint. Yeah. Sperm stamp, great. Then, to be fair, I'd have to make an egg stamp. See what happens when you start that, it just gets out of control. Okay, so I'm going to do something different in color here. Put a little, where's my red? I thought I got a red one out. No? Okay. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm going to have to place another PBO order here soon. Oh, hell. Pretty soon. Run a low on a couple colors. <laughs> Maybe if they were in the same stamp, they'd make new little stamps. I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Is it just Jamie or am I a goner? Hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. So what I was thinking is just stamping right into the paint and using that for a design. Ooh, look how pretty that is. This is going to be a good paper to do something with. Oop, crap. Oopsie. Dropped it. wipe that on my shirt before I screw it up. Uh, let's do something else even though it's on a different side. We'll just mix it up here a little bit and see how these come out. And they should come out fine. I should think. Lordy lordy. Regina from Germany, yay. <laughs> All right, 
let's see what happens here. Just doing a little light touch on this one because I don't want to smush out the design in the paint that I just did. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad for a first layer. I'm going to come up with my pop of black and do those layers reverse. Like do this illusion one over that and do the circles over that. Or not. I don't know. Hey, Judy. Um, let's see. Let's try another one, shall we? Let's see. This one. I like these kebabs. I think you guys will like that. You know, the dangle stencil that I did, that's the most popular. I'm going to do a larger version on the, on the next go-round. And then I'm going to do um, these kebab shapes. Something like this for another one. Um, let's do a little bit of this green for Jean. Jean Green. Different? Yeah, it's a little bit different. No, this um, this one's going to be kebab, and there's another one that's going to be crop circles. Actually, this is crop circles. Sam, thanks for joining. It'll be on YouTube after we get done with this. Thank you so much. Oops. Got a little chunk of something in there. All right. Let's do some of my marks. Know what is it is about that mark that it just grabs me? Isn't that funny? It's so simple, but of course I am very simple-minded. Mm. Need I remind you of that? Um, Christy, Rubber Moon. Now let's throw in some kebabs in there. Oh, look how cute are you going to be? Yeah, I know, Pat. I just kind of not paying much attention to putting them on my under paper here. Ooh, eh, I don't, I'm not wild about how that picked up some of the orange. I should have probably cleaned that off, but it's all right for a first layer. That's not me final, that's just a first. So that's all right. Let's see, let me do Something a little darker. I'll go with this red. This red blue in the PBO. Oh, mama. It's like dessert right there. It's so pretty. It's like a, it's like a, more of a pink than a red. But look at that color. Ho, ho, ho. With that blue shimmer in there. I loved you. And let's see, what might go with that? This has blue shimmer in it. The turquoise, the green, blue, but that they both have blue shimmer in it. So let's see what happens here. Oh, 
All right, what else we got? Let's do some little corner dots, maybe. You know, what I don't care for about this one is um, on the wood mount. I mean, I love the design, but it kind of rocks because there's nothing over here. So I think I'd be better off if that was cut that way, maybe. Judy, which Judy? Foster? I did see Judy Foster come in. I'm so confused. Let's put some orbits in. Shall we? This one's kind of hard to see. Look at all the colors that came up in that one from the orange and the greens underneath of it. It's like a, like a little rainbow. Oh, and look how they came where I smushed them. See how that looks kind of 3D? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This one and this one. All the ones that kind of skidded a little bit made it look like it's got a some depth to it. <laughs> oh, happy accidents. What are you going to do? Um, hmm. I think I'm going to grab a baby wipe here before I destroy my new stamps. <laughs> Clean a little bit of the stuff off of them. That one with all the colors, Jamie? That was kind of wild, wasn't it, how it came out? Just sucked all that other layers of paint up off the plate. Oh, let's do one more with this little orb and Pac-Man. Um, that's a pretty dirty plate. You're a dirty, dirty plate. Look at all that on there. That'd make a cool cleanup print, though, wouldn't it? All right, let's do something in... Hey, Scrappy. So for you guys that came on late, this is how my stamps are going to be sold. I'm using them wood mounted, but this is just my own personal set that I got with my first order. But they're going to be sold in rubber sheets. Um, this is uh, what I'm calling number one. And I'm trying to remember number one with my, my, my Patty's Mark image here for my stencils. And this will be number two. And they'll be on my Etsy store early next week. Um, and people are pouring in some pre-orders for them. Uh, but they're, they'll be $25 each retail. Um, I counted them. I think there's 15 designs on this page here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think 13 over here if I'm counting them right. Um, I can get them wood mounted for you but you'd have to message me and tell me exactly which ones you want. And each one has a number on the, on the insert that you'll be able to see that on Etsy. And then I can get you the wood mounted ones. Of course, there'll be a little bit more. And since you're just buying the one um, design, uh, but I can get them if you want them that way. But really the most economical way for you guys to get them is to buy the sheet. <clears throat> and they're easy to mount. Does everybody know how to mount them off the sheets? <clears throat> oh, make that plate dirty, Pam. 
Does anybody need to um, to see how you mount mount the sheets? I think I have some easy mounts here. I could show you if you need to see. Um, Yeah, easy mount. That's the way to go for that stuff. I don't even know if there is another brand of the um, mounting sticky stuff. Let's do... I don't have... So some of these designs on my stamps... Our future stencil designs that I just haven't come out with yet. Like this one is going to be called undulate when the stencil comes out. But I feel like undulating now instead of waiting. You know, sometimes you just feel the need to undulate. I have always said that. Oops, I squidged that one too much. See if I really have to clean it that many times. If I still get an impression. Ooh, look at that. Oh, you're so pretty. This one I do have to wipe down right away. This one has a lot of little creases in there. I'm going to get that paint out before it sets up on me. Thanks, Jamie. Okay. And you know what we're going to do? I don't know. What the hell? Let's throw a little bit of this in here every once in a while. I'll make a stamp that says that. I actually could do that, I suppose. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys something that I discovered myself. That's what I should do. I should make little stamps with my sayings on them. Like, hello, lover, and sweet baby Jesus, and did I see a penis? <laughs> that would be my first three, I think. <laughs> So this, this little guy right here, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. But you got to um, ink that very lightly for a good impression because those rings are so close. If you really get her juiced up, uh, not as pretty as I was hoping with the paint, but I like the designs overlap like that. Can you guys see that for a first layer? Not bad. I've seen better. Let's call it a lot of texture, shall we? All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then I'm gonna do a cleanup print because I think that one's gonna look pretty cool. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll have to get one of those little um, sound bite things to hook to the back of the stamp so when you press it, you can hear me say, hello, lover. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I need help. I might need a new brayer along with that. Got chunks of crap on this one. Yeah, these, um, I use a lot of these PBOs. Um, this one's green yellow. The paint is green with yellow shimmer in it and they are 
yum alicious I'm telling you yeah I get them uh, Dick Blick has them now actually they're carrying those now but you got to watch it because they also Dick Blick also carries these in a 60 milliliter tube and they were as much or more that I was paying for these um, but they're the P so they're the PBO studio acrylics and they're the Dyna colors see this right here and then you'll see they're all iridescent they're iridescent green yellow and they are 100 mil tubes Maybe that's not close enough. Hmm. All right, see the Dyna color? That's the ones you want. This one's yellow, uh, orange yellow. This one's violet blue. So the, the first name is the color of the paint, and the second name is the color of the shimmer. Um, this one's one of my favorites, green blue. Looks very much like the blue green. However, it is different when you put them side by side. And then the red blue, that's that yummy one. I could eat that. Put that on a sandwich. Put it on an English muffin or something. I know that little one that I have, Rain, with that, like the, the little handle stamp. I love that stamp. Is this dry yet? Let's see. It's getting there. Where do we get my, where do you get your, um, I get my PBOs at fineartstore.com. I first found them, um, I was watching somebody's video and I never could figure out who that was that I was watching. But I saw somebody use them on a video and I went to look for them. Um, and I found them on Amazon, but they were, um, 